The best way to organize files or folders on a brand new Mac? Let's talk about it. I'm changing who I am. I'm making a new plan. Rearranging. Welcome back to the channel. Life. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk a little bit about how to organize your Mac files and folders best practice to keep everything clean and tidy on your Mac. So I'm gonna to try to keep it very simple and just show you some basics, right? So you can get through it really quickly. Just to show you like if you get a brand new Mac, how you wanna keep and how you wanna organize all your file structures on your Mac so you can find everything later and how to kind of clean your house. I'll get into that in a second. So stay tuned, I think everybody can learn a little bit about this or from this, even if you're an advanced user, let's get into it. All right, so we all know how it feels if you have a very dirty house, right? When your house is dirty, you don't feel that good, right? Well, the same thing is with a computer. So when you clean your house, you feel much better, and the computer is the same way. The problem with the computer, though, is if you let it get kind of out of hand, let's say you kind of just let all your files and folders just go everywhere on your Mac or your computer, you're gonna end up feeling really bad and you're gonna feel kind of helpless and trying to fix that later, right? It gets such a mess that you don't even know where to start to go back to a clean Mac once again. And you feel like all your files are missing, you can't find things. So what I wanna do is show you is just a simple way when you get a new Mac, or even if you don't have a new Mac, just what you can start right now and how you can kind of just basically structure your files and folders, where to save stuff and how everything works just in a nutshell, just so that you're gonna have a clean system Keep it consistent with all your other Macs if you ever buy ones in the future. And just know, hey, I got a clean computer, I feel good. All right, just really quickly, this is really easy. So look at your desktop, all right? You've all seen desktops like this with tons of folders and stuff, and I'm guilty of it too, right? We all do it. And that's not really best practice. So let me just show you what it is. First of all, you want to just, you know, obviously your, your, your desktop is basically just a folder, right? So I got two, I got a folder over here and a file over here. So if I go down to, you know, Finder down here, open up Finder, and I move this to the middle, you're going to see on the left-hand side, here's your desktop kind of folder. I click on it. Here's the actual folder right there. See it over here? It's right in here. Here's the file right here. So if I create another folder, just like this, and I call it Test, it's gonna obviously instantly, right there, it's gonna show up inside this folder. So just think of, when you click, just think of your desktop as a folder, any file or folder you put in there or any subfolders and what have you, you can get to over here in Finder, you click on the desktop and they're all in here, just kind of like under the desktop folder, right? Even though it's a little different. But in any case, you'll, that's kind of just one thing to learn off the bat. Of course, you'll see up here there's something that's not in that folder and this is gonna be, this is yellow thing here is a hard drive and that's basically because I plugged in an external SSD drive it shows up there to show me that it's plugged in. That's a little bit different, but any folder or file you put on your desktop, you're gonna see in that desktop thing in Finder. The problem is, is you just don't want a million things out here. That's not best practice, and I'm gonna show you what is and how you should really structure your Mac in general. All right, number two, just to understand, then we'll get into the structure. If you go down to Finder down here and you click on Finder, you're gonna notice it opens up this kind of recents folder. You'll see it over here. It always kind of defaults to that, and you're gonna see all the recent documents that have been opened. Well, a lot of people think that's a folder, and they're, sometimes they drag things in there thinking they can store them in there and stuff. That's not actually, recents is not a folder, right? This just lists recent files that you've had open before. So if I go ahead and click on any of these files, let's pick one, and you go down to your keyboard, hold the option key down, and then look, hold it down for a second, then look down here as you're holding it. It's gonna give you where this file actually is stored. You'll notice that it's not stored inside of the, the recent you know, folder, there's not a folder. It's stored down here under desktop, iMac 24, and then here's the name of the file. So any file you can do that with. You click on it, you hold down the option key for a second and watch, it'll just show up like in about a second, it shows up down here. It gives you the path, all right? If you don't wanna to have to keep clicking the option button, you can go, as long as Finder's open, go up to view up here and then go down to show path bar, click on that and you'll notice now that anything I click on, any, any file down here, it just changes this automatically and it just stays there. So it always will give you that path without having to click the option key. I just wanted to make sure people understood what that recent thing was. So a couple things here. Now I have a website open here and I'm going to download just, this is just a landscape. So let's just go ahead and download this landscape. You'll see it go whoop. Now I just downloaded a file, right? Off the internet like we all do. So if I go back over to Finder, I'm clicked on Finder, you're going to notice that it downloaded and it went right into this downloads folder. And that's, that's the way it should be, right? It's in the downloads folder right now. The weird thing is, and again, this is not that important, but if I go to recents, you'll see that it's not even showing up here. It's not in recents because people will say, well, I just recently did something with it, but you didn't open it, right? So if I go back to downloads, I double click on it. There's the file. Then I shut it down. Now, if I go to recents, 
just like that, it's at the top. You're going to see that it shows up there finally. Obviously, that's not where it is. Like I told you, it's somewhere else. It's in the downloads folder. All right, so all your stuff in the downloads folder. So what's best practice? Well, let me just tell you, you should never have anything in your downloads folder. And sometimes you have to do this every week, or sometimes you just do it as soon as you download a, a file. But you never want to keep anything in the downloads folder, all right? So what you really want to do is this. So I have this Finder Winner open over here. And uh, you can go, once Finder's open, you can go up to Finder again, and then File, and then New Finder Window right there, see it? That's gonna open up a second one, just so you can have them side by side. So what you wanna do here is, you wanna put everything in your Documents folder, and you wanna create subfolders depending on what you're putting in there. So I'm gonna click on my Documents folder over here, see it? And this is the Downloads folder. And now I've created some, these are things I've created some folders from before. And you'll notice I have downloaded pictures in here, see it right there? So this is a downloaded picture, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna take this, move it over to downloaded pictures right there, drop it in. Now my downloads folder is empty again, and that's the way it always should be. The problem is, is if you keep downloading things and downloading things, you're gonna probably have 3,000 different documents in here, and you're gonna have no idea what they are. So best practice is always to download something, and even at the end of the week, Create folders then in your documents uh, directory here, folder directory, and they basically can create a new folder, and I can go like pages document, you know, something like that. And uh, then uh, over time, you can basically add stuff that you want to that folder. But anything I download then will get moved to these specific folders. And you shouldn't even stop there. For instance, under the downloaded pictures here, if I click on it, you'll notice that I have a bunch of pictures in here. That's not really the right thing to do either. You really wanna have subfolders in here, and you wanna put everything under a subfolder. So like all these things here, all these different files here might wanna go under landscapes like that, and just so you have nothing in there so that you have downloaded pictures, but then I have a whole subcategory of other things below that. And so everything has basically got a folder. Nothing's floating. There's no files floating anywhere in here. So obviously they're all under their specific folder and that makes it a lot cleaner and you can drill down on stuff and find exactly what you need. So that's really the best practice area right there. All right, I'm gonna show you another tip. So I think we all know that if you hold down Shift, Command, and you push four, let me look at my screen. I can take a screenshot. See these little, you know, obviously it puts these little crosshairs out and I can drag and hear that, it makes a screenshot. So it takes a screenshot of whatever I outline there. If I do Shift um, Command 3, it'll just take a screenshot of the entire screen. Well, on a new Mac, you'll see over here that these files, they show up here, but then they move over here. So now I have both of them saved over here on the desktop. And I just told you, you don't want things saved on the desktop. So I like to take screenshots all the time of just documents, or I'll take a screenshot of something on the internet to save it for later to read. The problem is it saves it, saves it over to my desktop, not even to the downloads menu, right? And that's a problem because now I gotta then move these somewhere else and do all that kind of stuff. Or, or most of the time I forget about them and I just clutter my desktop up. All right, so what you wanna to do to fix this so that nothing's happening or nothing's going to your desktop is you go down here, click on Launchpad right here, and then look for a screenshot. See it right there? So what you wanna do in here is, under Screenshot, don't click anything. There's like a little menu down here. You wanna click on Options, see it there? And then basically, it says Save To right there, and you wanna go all the way down to Other Location, click on that, and then basically, once you're in here, you can click, you can kind of click on the left-hand side, click on documents. Now I created a folder in here called screenshots, see it right there? So I'm gonna click that and then click choose. So now the cool part is, let me just click out of this. Let me, you know, let me just see how I can get out of this. All right, so now if I take a screenshot, let me just do shift command, let me just do shift command four. I'm gonna take a little snippet or something. You're gonna see down here that it actually took the screenshot, right? But you're gonna notice that it's not gonna save it to the desktop any longer, all right? So now if I go in over here and I go to basically the finder again and I click on documents, I did create there, here there's the screenshot folder that I created earlier, I click on that, open that up, and you're gonna see that the screenshots are now saving into that location automatically instead of you having to drag them over there. So you can do this with anything, all right? You can go into pages down here, and if you open up a pages document, let me go ahead and open that up. I'm just gonna open up a sample one, just something like this essay here. So here, here's one right here. Now, again, the same thing. If you actually go up to pages and you go file, what you can do here is you can, instead of just clicking save, you can go ahead and hold down the option key and then it's gonna give you different menus here. And one of the options is gonna be save as. See that? So if I, un, if, I un, if I don't click on the option, it's not there. If I hold on the option, it says save as. So I'm gonna click on that. Now what I can do here again is I can click on my documents folder and then I can pick the folder that I want over here. And let's just say it's under, I don't want it under there, but pages document, there it is. <laughs> and then I can go ahead and name whatever I wanna name this test. And then I can save it, right? So now it's not gonna just save it to you know, your downloads or save it somewhere like under some weird directory or something. It's actually, you've selected where you want that saved 
And basically, if I go into Finder and I click on Documents, now I can see that, let me go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff, but here's Pages document and there's the test document. So I didn't have to move anything in that case. So anything that you do on your computer, you can set it up to go into those directories. And those are, again, if you go into Finder, it's going to be under your Documents directory. And nothing should be under your Downloads directory because everything you download from there should be moved to your Documents directory, just like I showed you. And you should have structures in there that easily let you know what's going on. The issue is going to be a lot of people say, hey, I can have a lot of these search things on my computer, like I can use Spotlight or I can use all these different Mac search terms and stuff to find the files I need. I don't need this. But all, you know, you have to then follow a very strict naming, you know, system on all of your files, which a lot of people don't do. You see what I downloaded that image, it was crazy the name of it. You're never going to find that thing. You're never going to find it again unless you put it in the right spot and you can find it something later with a hierarchy of your folders. So I just hope that this helps people. I know it's kind of very basic. But I wanted to show people there's kind of a structure behind how you want to do this on a new Mac. And what it does is it keeps it very clean. I guarantee 90% of the people out there, if they go into your downloads folder right now, you're going to end up having a million files in there. And you're going to say, how did these all get here even? Or why are they here? What am I doing with all these? And you're going to have no structure, right? You're going to have no idea why you have those there. But if you follow this system from the very start, every single time that you actually download something, and even if it's at the end of the week, you decide to move everything over to those correct folders, you'll have a clean downloads you know, folder like I showed you, and you'll have nothing to worry about at the end of it. You'll have a clean house again, clean desktop and uh, you know you'll be happy just like your house if it gets dirty you're kind of all stressed out and everything but if it's clean you're gonna be a happy person and that's what this video is all about so I hope this helps people I know I'm all over the place with it I just hope that you got something out of it it's just the best practice and how you want to name stuff and how you want to keep things in certain places it just makes life a lot easier and we'll talk to you in the next video peace